thought he made the move a little too early, and uh, it turned out he did. He did perfect. So, um, you know, we had a, we had a great day, and um, you know, part of it wants to cry, part of it wants to cheer. You know, anytime you leave here and if you can, uh, you know, cards on one piece, you should be happy. But come that close after the year we've had, it's pretty pretty disheartening. What kind of encouragement does it give you, though? Well, you know, it's it's been a it's been a hard year. I mean, it really has. And uh, I'm proud of everybody though for keeping their heads up, and everybody's continued to fight. And, uh, proud of Caterpillar and Chevrolet and uh, SKS and everybody, everybody on this car. All these people on this car have been very committed to us, even though we've had a bad year. And I really appreciate that. A pro's pro, Jeff Burton, second today, Alan. Vince, thanks. And so the championship standings at the conclusion of today's race. After the troubles earlier in the race, more people like Kevin Harvick and Kyle Busch. After Carl Edwards only ran through to 11th at the finish. What, at the flat tire there in the 33? Yeah. Burned it down in the, in the burnout. And so here is what your championship picture looks like as we head on to Martinsville and the final four races. And Brad Keselowski still solidly in this. Matt Kenseth, 14 positions on the racetrack behind Carl Edwards. Uh, Edwards ran around about 30th most of the day. He wound up finishing in the 11th spot, Doc. He did. He hung in the back for a good bit of the day, and Carl, when it was over, an 11th place finish and the biggest uh, lead in the chase thus far. Describe your day for us. Uh, first of all, I, I got I to gotta say Greg Bipple is amazing. He is a just an unbelievable driver and uh, best teammate a guy could hope for. Got to thank Subway for being on board. It's a big, big month. It's any Tober. Any uh, five dollar, any foot long, regular foot long is five bucks. And uh, Affleck, Ford, Kellogg, Scotts, all the fans in Sprint. But this race is insane, you know. And that last, that last dash to the finish, Greg and I had laid back, and we thought we'd, uh, you know, we wanted to get a forward to victory lane, but uh, we just thought we'd do the best by being out of the wrecks. And man, he just does an unbelievable job. The communication was unreal. It, uh, I just hope we can work together at these races from now on. Carl Edwards and Greg Biffle, great teamwork and the lead now, 14 points. Alan? Doc, thanks. Some fireworks in the final laps and some fireworks back in the garage area, too. Apparently, looks like the 78 transporter perhaps putting some... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm coming out of the... 78, 78 or the one. Either way, safety officials on the scene back there in the garage area containing the situation. We're told it is the, 70, uh, it is the 78. Looks like the uh, actual, see the tractor, the paint on the actual truck itself. Get a follow-up report on that. Talk about making a bad finish to a race even worse for that 78 team. The hard crash late in the going today. No hard luck for Clint Boyer as we head down to Napa Victory Circle. To talk oh, no. I don't know. I had that big, big blue two car pushing me. Um, I can't thank Brad Keselowski and that whole team enough. They, they committed yesterday or Friday to just work together the whole day and, and we kind of struggled at times figuring out what to do and how to do it and when to do it but um man he could really push me well and it uh it turned out good but um man happy for Golden Corral finally get to feed a lot of kids on Monday and uh that, that's big that's big for us happy for that and it's uh, Dave Blaney's birthday tomorrow so a little something extra to celebrate Doc and Brad Keselowski restarted 15th and finished fourth and uh, Brad how Fourth, exactly. Finished third and fourth, Jerry. <laughs> okay. And uh, how wild were those final nine laps? Crazy, man. Uh, I told the guys in the spider stand that Dave Lee and I had this. They could uh, walk down the stairs and grab my mower light because there's nothing you can do for us once they dropped the green on the green white checkered. And uh, my team, uh, they gave me the car and uh, we just uh, came down to teamwork with Dave at the end. Worked hard with him. I uh, want to say thank you to Dave Laney and uh, and his whole team, but. Uh, all came together at the end, and uh, this is exactly how we needed to leave Talladega with a strong finish. Gained points on uh, the leader, gained points on really all the chase cars, and uh, very proud of the effort, and uh, proud to have had a good day, and, and feel very fortunate to uh, have missed all the wrecks today, and uh, I don't know, it must have something to do with the in memory of Dan on the back of the car. It, uh, it was a great day for us, and uh, I want to say a shout out to him and his family. Carrying a memory of Dan Weldon on the back of this car, guys. Mitz? And Vickers, he and his teammate Casey Kane worked well together all day today. Almost uh, top five, I think, all day long. You end up fifth. More fun or frightening today? <laughs> it's a long day. Uh, this racing is uh, nerve-wracking. It takes about two hours to go to sleep after this. Your mind is just doing 100 miles an hour, but the Red Bull teams did a great job working together today. Casey and I both, whether he was the leader or I was the lead, we had to go the last, like, I don't know, four or five times, but we always got back to the front. 
Um, we just didn't have quite enough there at the end. Um, you know, we got together, the guys got on our door, and the 33 and 31 got away. But they were strong all day. They were one of the only, them and the, the 42 and 1 were the only two groups I could see that could pass them outside. And, uh, so that we knew they were going to be tough at the end. Brian Vicker strong today. Fifth place. Dave? Hey Vince, just want to give everyone an update down here in the garage in between the, the Brian Vickers hauler and the Regan Smith hauler. Uh, everyone is okay. Uh, they were transferring the fuel from the dump cans they use on pit road actually into a reservoir uh, in the back of the cab. That's where they, uh, they store the extra fuel to go down the road so they can store the empty cans up in the top of the hauler. So everyone's all right, and uh, there was just a quick fire. They got it all put out, and uh, they'll go down the road a, a little battered in a lot of ways today, Alan. Dave, thanks. Appreciate the update there. Glad everybody is okay. And so, we look ahead from here in Talladega. Full wrap-up. NASCAR now, 11 o'clock Eastern time tonight. We'll talk about it on our roundtable tomorrow, including, for example, what happened to Matt Kenseth in those final laps uh, when he and David Reagan got separated and more. Next weekend, Big O Tires NHRI Nationals qualifying and finals. And the next race in the chase is at Martinsville. That's ESPN next Sunday at 1 Eastern time. So Richard Childress Racing celebrating its 100th win, and uh, quite the day here at Talladega today, Nicole. Certainly quite a day for Cliff Boyer and his team, but also, when you look at this championship picture, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Jimmy Johnson had a plan all day long, but they are among the seven chase drivers to finish 25th or worse today. Yeah, I was really, really surprised how late the Dale Jr. and Jimmy Johnson tried to get to the front. The caution at the very end hurt him, and also Edwards and Biffle. They all had a plan to get to the front, get it on, but it didn't work out, Brad. Yeah, Carl Edwards somehow came from the back, though, up towards the front, finishes 11. Kevin Harvick takes a big shot the point today, and there's a quiet Matt Kenseth. He snuck in the second. The points lead, 14, Carl Edwards over Matt Kenseth. And for more post-race coverage, stay with us. Sports Center is coming up next. We'll see you next weekend from Martinsville. But once again, congratulations to Clint Boyer, a basketball of us here. Have a great night.